All right, guys, out here on winding, let me give you a quick little snapshot of your neighborhood here. Super cute little neighborhood back here. Now, walking up to the property, I don't know how well this comes through on the phone, but I'm checking out the roof. So you got a three tab shingle. It's not a three dimensional, it's older. It's definitely older. It's relatively dry up there. Um, you got a lot of staining. Kind of gives you an idea of how old it is. Now the gutters look really good. Flashing up around the chimney looks a little bit older. You can see that. Um, overall, it's definitely older than a three tab shingle. It's just a 20 year roof. Um, the property itself, landscaping, it's got a nice curb appeal. You've got a fire hydrant out there in your yard, which is actually super, super convenient. Plenty of parking here, just a one car garage. I use some, some mortar and you can see where somebody's done a little bit of work there. It could have been caused by some settling. around the other corner but it is missing some mortar um you can see somebody's done a little bit of work there as well try to seal that up Go inside and take a look here so coming in I've got the hardwoods and they're in relatively good shape now walking in here um you get a really heavy odor of dog um but that's usually pretty easily cured with a uh, Good cleaning. Let me replace this carpet. Now it looks like a rug, but it looks to be, yeah, just a rug. So the hardwoods are in decent shape. Let me get back here to the front door and give you a good look at the, uh, the room as a whole. I love the stonework on that fireplace. mosey on in here into our dining and kitchen area. So we're three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, built in 1956. 1,380 square feet. That does not include our basement. And we'll go down and check that out here in a minute. So our garage space. Super clean garage. Really, really clean garage. And you got some storage space up there. No attic access. A lot of times you'll see these houses have a drop-down attic access. Um, not, a, not an insulated door, but you do have the safety sensors on it. There's your opener. New-ish. They went ahead and replaced this window here with a vinyl tube pane. So that's nice. All in all, not bad. Your windows looks like they've switched them all out. We'll check out the kitchen in just a second. Let's check out this little area in here. And it's actually a lot bigger in here than it looked in the pictures. It looked really small in the pictures. Not really small, but it was relatively small in the pictures. Here is our, yep, so it's heating and cooling. So you've got a dual purpose unit there. It's a little bit older, but That'll serve the needs for what this room has. Now, your deck out here is a composite, so this isn't wood. That's a composite material. And really, the only thing you need to do with that is just pressure wash it off from time to time. We are backed right up to a tree line and a, what appears to be a creek back there. So we are kind of on the money there. Your water's going to sheet down from that neighbor and right on across and you're going to carry him out to that neighbor. It doesn't look Older, um, older meter, so they haven't updated that yet with one of the digital ones. 
It looks like they've got this fenced uh, off just for the dogs. So I'm going to avoid walking out there because I know, I know there's some landmines out there. Our brick looks good through here. And this is the older York AC unit. It actually looks a little bit better here than it did in the pictures, but you can tell where the dog's been peeing on it. So I'm going to snap the service tag here. Two thousand eleven, I think. O two of two thousand eleven. So so far so good. We've got an older roof. The air conditioner's not terrible, but the dog has been having its way with it. Here, just leading us to the side yard. And that, that hill. Okay. But the temperature difference from main area into here is not noticeable so the ambient is staying pretty well pretty well balanced and these are vents we've had some showings come through already no big deal um so let me turn around here and give you a look at the dining space Countertops are a solid surface. I can't tell if these are, I think these are a Corian. Not bad. Backsplash isn't bad. Flooring, not bad. Original cabinets, had they switched out the cabinets, I think this kitchen would have a completely different feel. Wall oven, kind of encased there. All appliances are included in this one. The gas range is actually a really nice range. Get this light on and see the difference that makes. Not a real, real big difference. But a nice kitchen all the same. So we are back to the living room on the other side of it. And we'll head down the hallway here. Check out our bedrooms bathroom here. This is a really, really good size bathroom. I can kind of tell that from the pictures. That was going to be a, a good size. It's long. Just kind of a roll out vinyl floor. First bedroom on the left. That's a smaller bedroom. It's not terrible though. None of these bedrooms I think are a bad size. It's nice that they've got the fixtures in the ceilings. It's very, very textured paint. You can see that. Very, very textured. Second bedroom on the left here. Carpet could definitely come up, and you do have hardwoods running all the way through here. So that would be the first thing I personally would do is just get rid of all the carpets. make our way to the basement and we will check out all of our mechanicals.
right here. And the paint has come from all the way down. It's almost like I used dry lock on the walls to abate maybe some water or moisture intrusion. That's usually when I see that. like a water stain that just hasn't ever been cleaned up. Um, I definitely use some type of waterproof paint on these walls and I see that a lot. Some work has been done here to bring something to the drain. That's, that's newer concrete. So that's been jacked up and the drain line's been put there. I don't think some of those are water being here, like the rust on the bottom of that post. It's a good one furnace, nothing special, it's just an 80 percenter. Nothing to write one to mom about. Um, seems to be a very small water heater for the size of the house. And they, def they definitely dry it off. You can, you can almost smell it in here. Thing. You can see a little bit of discoloration on that really. So, see some standing there. This is where you can tell that there were there was some type of flooring down. You see the gap between the baseboards and the floor. There was a carpet or something down here that got wet and it's been pulled up. through dry lock. Over a little bit of time, it usually doesn't take long, that's going to start cracking and uh, peeling off from moisture in the wall. You can see it in other spots too. You can see it here. You can see it. Now, that's not to say that's going to be a long time fix because dry lock or any waterproof paint is usually just a band aid. There's the bathroom, smaller than what the pictures made it out to be. Over here, give you a different angle here. A little disappointing that with two full bathrooms, one of them is not in the master. But, not terrible. It's, I mean, it's nice. You can see a little bit of that deterioration on the bottom of that pole as well. I don't know. It's a nice house. It's a decent house. It needs some updating. Your hardwoods are gonna need to be refinished sooner or later. Um, the roof and the concern about the water intrusion. Here's that bubbling again. 
those are my two biggest concerns. All in all, not a bad house. Um, it needs some things. We kind of knew that going into it, but it's not terrible. Um, but it only needs some things. All right, I'll get this uploaded and sent over to you guys.